What's going on YouTube? Geothan right here. Today we have a big update for the iDevice Toolkit application that I am developing and it's now available and you can get it. The brand new update includes a new user interface so that you can easily pick through the options over here. We have the cosmetic tweaks at the top, which now goes to the older page that used to be the main screen. You have all your tweaks over here. You have the file manager over here. And with one tap, you can go into the file manager and pick your files and whatever. So you can easily navigate to that. And then you have your IPA tweaks over here, which allows you to select dialib tweaks, real jailbreak tweaks that you can then of course put into IPAs and get the combined file. So now it should be much easier for you to navigate through the application with the new UI. The file manager was also improved. It now works better, but of course the UI is the biggest thing, but there's also now preliminary support for iOS 26. So iOS 26 is now in developer beta and it's now supported by iDevice Toolkit. However, the support is only available for the file manager over here and for the IPA tweaks. The cosmetic tweaks over here do not work on anything newer than iOS 18.3.2. However, you can use the rest of the features no problem, even on all devices. To get the update, you can go here to iDeviceCentral.com. There is this page, it's going to be linked down below and there is the button to get it. It's also open source here on GitHub and it supports a variety of tweaks definitely check it out. Also check out Rayboot. They have a tool that allows you to easily downgrade from iOS 26 beta back to iOS 18.5 if you happen to not like the new class UI from Apple or the bugs. Anyway, you can get the free trial for both Windows and Mac OS down below. So yes, definitely go ahead, get the version 1.9.0 for iDevice Toolkit. The UI has changed a lot, making it much easier for you to navigate through the features, no longer have to search for buttons at the top of the application. There is now preliminary iOS 26 beta support and a lot of bug fixes and improvements to the file manager. So get the IPA and try it today. Thank you for watching, I am Geo Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.